man. I wish I could. I should have told my lady. I yeah. Well, the, I mean, you still can. I mean, if you stir yeah. down your phone, it's cool. She's, but uh, yeah. yeah. The grand baby. Yeah. I, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to Shared Universe Podcast Studio. My name is Ming Chen, and um, listen, we love. I think that the the reason we built this place is so we could get our cool friends to come over, and we you know we got a lot of cool friends, but no one. No one is cool as the gentleman sitting to my right here. Now, first of all, we got CJ Cullen over on the other end, uh, who you may know from Cullen on film. Yeah. But listen, uh, actor, father, grandfather, uh, he makes pepper jelly. He, uh, we, we've, we've torn up cities going to comic cons. We have. And uh, he's a man who, 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 you know, basically taught me that the, the, the cookie stand is an autonomous unit for mid mall snacking. Uh, he is also <laughs> in town. <laughs> he's also in town for the Mall Rats. Oh yeah. Screening, gathering, reunion, uh, along with Jason Lee and Kevin Smith here at the Smart Castle Cinemas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeremy London to a shared universe podcast studio. What's up, my friend? How are you? I'm, all right. I'm just gonna do this thing. Okay, the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. That'd be really weird. The whole time. I'm good, man. Yeah, I'm Dude, so happy welcome, to man. be here, man. Yeah. This is so cool. This is fun, right? This is fun, man. Yeah. Excited to have you in Red Bank, New Jersey. I just love being up here, man. I'm gonna be up here with my my mall rats family. Who would have thought 26 years later or something like that? 20, I think it is. 28. Is it 28? 28. 28. Well, 27 and a half. I think mall rats premiered what, October 1995. Yeah. Wow. So it's it's amazing to me that. Uh, that it has the steam that it has still, and people still love it as much as they do. Yeah, I, I think know, I, it's I, a trip. I think we talked about this. You know, Mars didn't do so well at the box office. Back in <laughs> not so well. Five box office. Was at the theater for a couple, you know, two weeks maybe, and uh, not. It wasn't there very long. Yeah, and you know, <laughs> no. I, I could understand disappointment. Maybe it was like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's it, huh? Mm. And and it it came in with a lot of hype. Got great test screenings. Uh, granted, it was screened at the San Diego Comic Con, which is, you know, if you're going to screen. Was Mars, that the first screening? It was the first test screen. was at San Diego Comic Con, wow. and then I remember they're like, "This is going to make more money than American Graffiti." Yeah. Dude, we thought it was going to be huge. The screen, the 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 premiere in Hollywood was bonkers, yeah. you know. And I thought that it was genuinely going to be. Um, you know a huge hit and so i kind of thought you know that my career was set there based on that silliness and uh and then when then and then i went and, and I, t- I think i was telling ming this earlier i took my dad to see it in a theater there yeah and, how and many i think were there? there were i believe six with including my dad and i and f- four of the people wound up walking out i'm happy to say my dad wasn't included in one of them and neither was i but we were pretty much the only ones sitting in the, in the theater when I it left it w- and so people just didn't get it it took people being at home with their beers and bongs and being able to um to watch it over and over and scott Hoverman keeps like wanting some oh he wants he he's he's wanting some love so we got to say hi to scott okay Hoverman scott or Hoverman. Scott. he's because he's har- he's harassing us <laughs> he's the man scott Hoverman is harassing i just us. saw he was alive they had a band of playing it. at his place right now yes jeremy we have i my will baby. have your baby what you don't know <laughs> is my baby is yours it's, you are the father. You are Hogan. the father. You are the father, my friends. So you are my father. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But even with that, it, yeah. It, no matter how low things might seem initially, it stick, was stick with amazing it, to watch stick, the, stick steam, it. the steam build on it. And it really, I have, I owe it to conventions, and mm-hmm. uh, I, you know, I think more than anything, helped kind of keep keep it going uh and also just kevin's you know body of work as it kept going people would go back and see his other things and 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 uh uh, he has such a wonderful fan base and so being in that universe and the fact that it's still not only alive but i think better than ever yeah um, yeah stronger than ever i think now yeah you know says 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 a lot i think marrits might be bigger now than it ever has been which is pretty pretty crazy in 2000 at a college i owned a video store local video store down here and the guess what the number one video vhs that was rented in that store i'm gonna say days and confused well that was probably second to small rats <laughs> wow the so the london brothers well, right. take yes. over the, mammoth county two, the, two, yes. the, the vhs and we didn't have too many copies because they cost a lot then some of them they were destroyed like everyone rented them so like it was so like the, i'm gonna to, be able like, to tell my together. grandkids that i was the king of vhs and they're gonna be like 
What? What? It, it, where? Fairhaven, New Jersey. That means. What the hell is what that? Is, Rumson, New Jersey. Rumson. Is New that Jersey. like Scotch tape? What is that? They're not going to have a clue of what any of that means. Yeah. <laughs> now, what was the number one it's video? Kind of depressing. That was- that was stolen from your video store. Oh, yeah. Oh, the number one. Probably porn. Stolen. Oh, my God. I, I got to think about which one I had to keep replacing. We didn't have porn. We didn't have you porn. Didn't have porn it was section? a family store. It was a family no, store. No wonder you went out of So I'm trying to think like, <laughs> right? yeah, pretty I mean, much, seriously. right? It was a family store. We bought it from someone that didn't have porn. So no we didn't have one. porn. We, there was a back room, and everyone, all the guys, they thought there was porn. All oh, the, the guys room. in the trench coats. Yeah, would go back they would there. go in the back room and like what that. was back there? This is just the bathroom in our okay. office. Yeah, man, because they, 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 but we didn't the, have porn. They always had the little swinging doors. That the, the saloon doors. Go. Yeah, the saloon doors the, that the kids the, couldn't buy. Like showgirls. Oh, or something oh, like that was. It was like the money maker because I know that I work. I worked at video stores Did when I was really? in high school. I two or three of them. Yeah, and that was always like, you know. That was a money maker for it the, was. Yeah. these so, little mom and pop shops. They yeah. kind of that's almost like their bread and butter. It was kind we of had weird. another shop and they we um they we they took the porn out of it. So I had it in the back of this store, the VHSs, and I sold like bags of them. Yeah. For hundreds of dollars. You sold porn by the bag? Yeah. Porn like by how the much bag. for a bag full of porn? A bag of porn. Your video it was store. like a hundred bucks for a bag of porn. Is that a like hun- a bag oh. it was like a bag of dicks? It was literally a bag of dicks. It was literally a much. bag of dicks. Literally. Pretty much. And then the, the title. came from. Eat a bag of dicks yeah. from CJ. From but CJ. We, CJ. We got rid of them. Bag of yes. dicks. Probably the fastest thing ever. Barbecue. <laughs> Good. Probably the fastest Uncut. thing ever to sell. All cash. And then we caught a guy who bought a couple bags okay. selling them. If you if you, leave, you, let, you would leave the bar. Right. Uh, the club. The club in Seabright. And he was outside selling all the outside porn. like at that's, last call that he just bought from me that yes almost he'd open so, up his car and he'd be wait, selling wait, the VHS wait, that's you, almost so New Jersey <laughs> that <laughs> it should be like on the New Jersey flag <laughs> yeah that's yeah. it's so beautiful so this is your first time in Red Bank it is out of you know you know Red Bank Kevin Smith Central this is yeah. your first time here it is that's awesome it is that's yeah. cool. I've spent some time in New Jersey and I think New Jersey is a lovely place I it is it here it is. I do love it here. It is. A Red Bank in particular. Just uh, wait yeah. till you see it in the in the daytime. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it's not summer. Like summer in Red Bank. I know. Is, summer is Red Bank's magic, amazing. Yeah. You know. I, 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 Cherry Hill I've spent some time in. And, you know, uh, I just, I, I really enjoy it here. It's much more, I think that it's a, con- it's, I think a common myth from like Midwesterners like myself that New Jersey is just city. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. it's only city, you know. But there's a beautiful natural uh, aesthetic to New Jersey. You got to go to the I Jersey Shore that Beach. I didn't know was here. The yeah. beach is beautiful in the summer. It's beautiful here. Very cool. Yeah, but you're not that far. You're literally ten minutes from. Yeah, ten minutes from the beach. Know. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll get you over sure. there if uh, <laughs> if you, if uh, you know if, if you get bored. So that I I I love that as your first time in Red Bank. So yeah, we'll it is. Get you over to the secret stash. Yeah, you know. tomorrow you're gonna head over the stash maybe. I hope so. I'll check it out. There. I yeah, check it out. yeah, you're literally steps from it right My now. My boy Matt yeah. Mattingly and I'll go over there for sure. Yeah, huh. or I mean, we could go right now and uh, open it up. <laughs> I don't. I I don't, I don't know. If it's good to be happy. Uh, Mike I, would not be happy about that. I don't have a key anymore. <laughs> oh, there was no. a there was an incident. Oh no! That, well, you want to hear? There's a story. You want to oh, hear no. about the, you hear oh, about the incident? L- I don't know if I do told tell. It. I don't know if I told you. You lost the key to the store. Well, no, I, 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 so for a lot of people are like, you still at the stores? Like, no, I left, I actually yeah. left a number of years ago and I started uh, this, a shared universe. And, um, I was, you know, when I left, I was, I was supposed to give the key back and oh. I didn't, you didn't, or I may have made a copy may, you know, allegedly oh, no. may have made a copy of the key and, and allegedly I may have kept that oh, key. No. And, and, yeah. and, and to be honest, the only reason I did that was because I knew that one day Kevin would be like, hey, I'm Gotta coming to town. This, can you go grab this, this yes. thing out of the store? Like, no one's answering my call. Like, can you get in? And, yeah. and I, you know, I kept it just in case of emergencies. Like, I never went in yeah. just to, you know, I never, I, I had no reason to go in uh-huh. after that. But I kept it just in case. Cause, you know, it's like, hey, man, I left some weed in there. Can you go get yeah, it for me? Yeah, absolutely. Or, or, you know, I need, there's a, you know, I can grab a stack of DVDs. I can sign, whatever. <laughs> Even though I wasn't, like, technically affiliated anymore. Um, but one, one day during the pandemic, I needed an XLR cable. I was yeah. podcasting and we were doing it outside. So I was like, oh, I think I left one inside. I, I remember I, cause I was there. Yeah. And I, and <laughs> so I went in and, um, 
the yeah. alarm code. Oh no! They sent there's an alarm, obviously. Yeah, which was set by Walt Flanagan. Oh, and it was it, not a complex code whatsoever, and they didn't change it in years. Mm -hmm. It was you know it was untouched, except for this time. Oh no! They changed. They it. changed the code. No one, no one told me because why would they? You know, I wasn't technically supposed to be in Didn't there. Didn't we have like cops Isn't like outside with us? Well, works the one time. So this was at a time when they moved all outdoor dining outside. Yes, and you know it's a very busy street where the store is. We were karaoke so, outside. So yeah, at one point we did. We ran a karaoke out there, um, but yeah, this time it was on my own. So I oh, this was a different one. When it gets cable, hit what I thought was the alarm code, didn't work. Thought I entered it wrong. Tried it again, didn't work. Then the alarm starts going off, oh, no. and it's loud. Oh no, it's loud, and it's loud enough to induce panic, shall we say? Which yeah. is what happened. Yeah. Because yeah, so I I panicked, and I was like, all right, I'll just run. <laughs> no. I'll just run. You know, the alarm card. That doesn't look. Yeah. Suspicious Tip at typ all. Typically, what happens is you know the alarm will go off. Mike will get a call. He'll come and disarm it, and then yeah. all will be good. Yeah, that's not what happened though. No. So they called. The cops were alerted. Oh, oh no! And you know they're they, looking they, for. A, a well, the cops are outside. They're like, the "Hey, what's going on? Did anyone see anything suspicious out here?" <laughs> and this is why I'll never commit a crime yeah. ever. Because uh, if you've watched comic book and you know, I used to drive a bright orange car. Yes. And I have a very unique look about me. Mm -hmm. So all the people who were dining outside were like, yeah, we saw this little Asian guy drive away in an orange car. <laughs> and they alerted Mike and the other people. And they're like, and they're like fucking Ming. Yeah. Fucking Ming. And, and so, and so Mike Mike starts texting me. He was like, was it you? Were you at the, where were you at the store? Was it you? And I ignored him. Yeah. Because why would I, you know, why yeah. would I cop to that? Even though, you know, it was so stupid. And then, <laughs> so the next day they're like, yeah, we know it was you're your, on camera. You were, you were, no, there's no camera. But camera. They're Don't like, say that. Your, there's a hundred, <laughs> there's cameras in there now. Yeah, but yeah. There's tons of cameras in there now. Yeah. But, you know, there are a hundred people out on Broad Street. Yeah, they saw uh, you running. August, <sighs> all dining outside. I think it was a Saturday night. It's terrible. Like, yeah, there was a little Asian guy that like, drove away in an orange car. Like, well, there, who else could it have <laughs> oh, been? Oh, no. And so, like, hey, like, you got to give that key back. And, um, yeah. It'd be amazing oh. if it was another Asian guy with an orange car that did it. Right, it's like the fugitive. <laughs> like, you, the, the amount of, like, just immediate profiling. They're like, uh, <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Yeah, right. Like, I know. Like, like know. 60, what, what? Yeah, all of us look alike. There's like sixteen hundred Asians that drive like yeah. an orange car because <laughs> it's fucking Jersey, and they're like Ming. Could have been our friend Ed. He kind of he would fit the bill. Yeah, but uh, Jeremy, as you'll as you'll soon notice, there aren't a lot of Asians in Red Bank. No, like, no, no. no. It's like me and the people who run the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, like, it's basically it. Shows it, you yeah. my my ignorance. So you're to the not area. profiling I just, whatsoever. I, I, I uh, that is hilarious, dude. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't get away with anything, then. No. You can't do anything. No, so do not. Yeah, I stick out like a sore thumb, even though we all look the same. Yeah, we kind of know. We saw that. I can see the orange car a million miles away. Oh, the Ming's over here. Yeah, and not only that, all the cops are fans of comic book men. Yeah, they, they do. They right. do. I mean, right. even though they weren't there, Ming. they knew it was me. So, yeah. yeah. In fact, like I saw Red Bank. He was off duty. I saw him at the grocery store yesterday. He's like, hey, what are you doing? I would venture to say it probably kept you out of some trouble. Now it, it scared me straight. Yeah, I was scared straight right. for sure. So no more key. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about the Smodcastle Cinemas? You're here to appear with Jason Lee. Uh, yeah. Huge Mallrats reunion, one that hasn't been done in years. It's been a while. May not happen again. Although I hopefully it hopefully a it will. Times. But I think but for the, the first time, some some some, some good stuff. I, I, I think so as well. Yeah, I have that feeling. Right. Things. It feels like it. Could yeah. Be fun. Yeah, did they just call you out of the blue? It was like, hey, so we're thinking about doing this thing. You know, uh, were you the first one in, or um, were they like, hey, Jason's in? It's like, all right, I'm in too, I guess. I was invited up here by some lovely people. Okay, that, uh, mm. happened to I believe own the theater. Yeah, oh. uh, yeah. The uh, shout out to Lilu Multiprops, Ashley, yes, Ashley Joe, and Joe, yeah. Ashley and Joe, great people. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm coming here to do some signings with them. And uh, he texted me and he was like, I got some good news, and I've got some good news. <laughs> And it's he was like, good. we're putting this together and they're going to be up there. And I, man, it's, I, I got to say, you know, I left Hollywood a long time ago, man. I've lived in Mississippi yeah. for mm -hmm. nine, 10 years, you know? And so uh, to just be able to reconnect with, with my Marat's family, yeah. and, 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 you know, and see, and everybody's doing well, you know? And it's, it's just, it, for me, it just, uh, uh, 
it, it's kind of sort of a, a, culmin, a culmination of like a career that I started like 32, 33 years ago, you yeah. know, and mm -hmm. being able to sort of um, kind of keep keep sort of one of the, 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 the most fun parts of my career uh, going uh, is, is very rewarding, you know. This is, it couldn't be a better crew of people. It couldn't be a better, you know. So if, if I'm going to, you know, if I get like, lucky enough to be able to do a sequel to, to any movie, this is the one I want to do. Well, <laughs> well it could happen. Uh, you know, it's been bandied about uh, multiple times. Everyone was talking about that. Oh, Probably I talking mean, about it right here. Yeah, I mean, you know, nothing's nothing's set in stone. Nothing's confirmed. I, you know, I believe a script has been written. Uh, you know, at least a very detailed outline. Um and uh yeah for a while there were there were photos of you guys going around going like man, this. man that was my that will tell you right <laughs> now my like son this. was my son's eight yeah my son was like seven months old whenever i okay. did that well rome wasn't back that's in the how day. long yeah. we've been oh, wow. know, talking wanting, about it greatness know. doesn't happen do overnight this. you know it takes time <laughs> especially for for stuff like this man but. i think it's better i for me I, I would rather it happen uh, now or you know in the near future than any any time before. Yeah. Now, now's now's my favorite time for this time. A lot of reboots going like around that. too, right? Sequels and reboots yeah, are coming you around. Know, and I think the thing. Yeah, and I hope that it doesn't fall into that sort of the cesspool of that. Yes. Because a, a lot of them are bad. Well, this will be a sequel, so it's not yes. a reboot. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a continuation. Of it, but I believe in Kevin, and I know what Kevin can do. Mm -hmm. And so I know, and you know, just like with Clerks Three, that he's you know. He has an amazing ability to make it funny and silly and have a heart, you know, but also understand the va the fact that, you know, malls don't really exist anymore. Yeah, that's you true. know, <laughs> the twilight of the mall rats, it makes sense. Yeah. It, it, shit, it's like, you know, it's becoming like it's going the way of the dodo. It's sad. It's just, you know, it's just the way that it is. You know? There's a couple left, right? We have a couple. Yeah, well, which is ironic. We just announced a third. Thank goodness. We just announced a third location. We have uh, this uh, Bell Works in Holmdale. Our third one is at a mall. Is at that the mall. local? Oh, is it really? <laughs> That's yeah, of a mall. yeah. Real quick, I um, uh, the, you know, our local mall. I found out there's this whole secret basement level, <laughs> and uh, you know, one of our uh, our podcasters started working over there in an office in that basement level. He's That's like, "Hey, it's, cool. stop by. You got to check this out." Yeah. And it went down. I was like, "What? Wait." I've been coming to this mall for years. Where the hell? Where is this? This has always great. been here. Like, yeah, and within that, the place where he, he works, there's a whole production studio in there. And he, he, he'd he been for a while. I was like, you guys should record here. You guys should book. That's not the mall. That's a mall building. Stuff here. <laughs> and, that's um, sort of, that's because malls are failing. They have to have yeah. podcasts in the basement. And they're, yeah. they're moving, but they're, they're, they're just moving stuff around and yeah. make it like but an it's, mall to. now. It's you literally sustain, underneath the Chick-fil-A though. Hilarious. Yeah. And the Burger King. That's where it is? That yeah. I mean, pr basically, yeah. Okay. And I was like, dude, does this run the entire length of the mall? Because I only saw the part that they're in. He's yeah. like, I don't know. And it I'm might. Like, Maybe a whole basement down there. There's some Hawkins level shit going on down there, which which we're going to unearth. It's the. And oh, you know, we yes. may upside, find our own version down. of 11. Like, yes. you yeah. can be Mikey. I'll be Finn, I guess. <laughs> or. or, or I guess I'm more of a Dustin, though, I think. Yeah. I think I'm a Dustin. I'm yeah. the rock and roller dude that just died. Hey, you're Eddie. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm you're Eddie. definitely Eddie. I'm a 100% Eddie. You're definitely Eddie. Yeah, you can Absolutely. play guitar, right? Yeah. I okay, can, you're Eddie. I can. <laughs> you're, you're that Eddie. qualifies me. Yeah. And I was, you know, I was pretty much a certified derelict. So, yes. Yeah. I'm an Eddie. Have you um, been able to play guitar in any of the movies that you did? Yes. Well, I, the, I have to say... Uh, Probably one of the best roles I've ever had the opportunity to uh, to to do is a movie that I have come that's being still being edited right now. A movie called uh, called Open that I did with um, some friends of mine um, in Mississippi. But he's at, we did it in Mississippi. He's mm -hmm. actually a professor at Loyola in New Orleans. Okay. Oh wow. One of the best actors as well mm -hmm. ever. His name is Miles Doliak and his wife Lindsay Williams. They um they basically wrote a movie for me. Um they had heard my music and they love my music. Yeah. We've been friends for a while, but they wrote this really incredible um movie uh 
and that has an, a musical element to it. Uh, basically, I play a washed up actor who uh, she used to be in love with, and she and her husband decide that they're that they're going to try to do the whole open relationship things, which never works. And uh, she uh, picks me because we she sees me at a dog park or something like that, and I turn out to be a complete psychopath. Yeah. So I get to play this really, really, really fun, fun version of uh, you know of the worst worst side of us um and just complete sociopath um but she lives in kind of this sort of fantasy world and when she any all of her fantasies are all in musicals okay and so they're all basically like 80 like really crazy 80s mtv music video, yeah. wow. video. so every song that we do in it all every flashback is is a per, like a whole thing like the whole it's the whole song and like music video so the whole thing is like a conglomeration of these really fun uh, music videos and then boom, cuts to reality and then there's the whole stark reality side of it where i'm like a literally like a stalker lunatic but then you go into the her her fantasy side of yeah her 80s thinking. music video fantasy yeah and that's and awesome. so it, it's going to be um if they if these guys put it together the way that that i i know that they're capable of doing it it might be the, my best uh performance ever i think that's awesome yeah, i hope that's we'll awesome where, where's that shooting we shot it in Hattiesburg. Oh, uh, Mississippi. Uh, Mississippi. Yeah, yeah. We, that, already, we already shot it. Holy crap! Mississippi's becoming like Hollywood. I know, style. right? There's yeah. a lot going like. on there. Well, the the Doliacs themselves are kind of sort of a little bit of Hattiesburg, Mississippi re royalty there, and they're just really, really wonderful, wonderful people. And Miles himself is a he's a professor, and he's a like I think he's a doctorate of like anthropology or something. Like he's a oh, wow. He like so he doesn't teach. He, he does all kinds of stuff. Too, man. Or? He teach this dude knows everything. Like he he. He the dude is like knows history and mm. uh, stuff more than you know. He, he, the dude's a genius, and he's you know a, a really, really just an, a brilliant actor, brilliant filmmaker, um, and gave me an opportunity, uh, at, you know, right before I turned fifty years old to do possibly the role of my lifetime. And That's awesome. so I'm really excited for it to come out. You know, yeah. It's just it's taken a long time for the to edit it because edit, yeah. every song is a music video oh right okay so you're like they're literally editing it's like 10, taking a long time because they're he's yeah. a perfectionist too you know yeah. and Lindsay's a perfectionist she's the, one of the writers as well and she sings in it and she's the lead actress and uh she uh you know uh, they they they, they want to get it right you know yeah for sure and I mean, yeah, sorry, it's small print, but yeah, my eyes are bad. But, Thank yeah, you, getting, Scott Hoverman. We're getting comments here, nice. though. We're getting comments for sure. Uh, Scott yeah. Hoverman says, I've spent many a night uh, list, around, uh, sitting around listening to Jeremy sing and play. So, so you do impromptu uh, yes. performances. That's yes. Cool serenading our friend scott hoverman over at three alarm comics and uh <laughs> and and now the three alarm comics and brewing company yeah i saw uh what what's the name of it again matt westphalen the yes. uh which one the Mom. brewing company that he started oh yeah name hey hoverman what's your brewing company Matt, Matt, Matt Westphalen, what's up, sexy bitches? What's up, you sexy bitches? Matt Westphalen from uh, Oklahoma. Yes, Oklahoma. one of my boys. He's also in uh, Monsters Anonymous, the movie I made with all uh -huh. of my, my students. Yes. He, uh, he's one of the uh, the zombies at the end that asks uh, oh. Wolfman if he can sniff his ass. Which uh, which <laughs> That's him. Which I thought was great and played at <laughs> Hang On To Your Shorts Film Festival. Uh -oh. And O'Halloran took home a nice yes. little trophy yeah, for that. I, so. I, uh, I watched it again he, last yeah, night. Yeah, Monsters Anonymous, a little movie we did down there in, on the coast with my students. And we won uh, just won first place at the Cannes Film Festival. Awesome. It's crazy. A short film that I wrote, wrote and directed. I co-wrote and directed. And uh, my students are 99% of the cast. And then I was lucky to get uh, Brian O'Halloran to come down and play... Uh, Plays a creature well, of the night. Dracula. Yeah, Dracula. Dracula. So uh, brilliant. I love it. Yeah, you he, wanna... He's good at Dracula. He played uh, Dracula in a, uh, a play here many, many, many years I, uh, ago. What is this? Hold on to the dark or be something of the dark? I forget. Yeah. So long ago, but he was so good in it. Don't be afraid. No, wait. That's no. no that's, that's, the, a, that's a movie. That's the movie about the thing yeah. in the walls. Yeah. But um, yeah. That, uh, yeah. But a, a Dracula uh, with orange sneakers. That's all you but, need to know. But about if you've seen if you've seen O'Halloran in a movie and you've seen his performance in Clerks Three, which is fucking phenomenal, yes, uh, you go see him in a play. He kills. Oh, yeah, right. so good. I've seen so him in a bunch wonderful. of different plays in Manhattan, even here, small small plays. Oh my yeah. god, he, he's so good on the stage. It's he ridiculous. did so good in the movie. I mean, I you know, there's no doubt in my mind that he's a big part of why we won. 
Cannes Film Festival, but I got to give it up to all of my students that played all of the other roles. They just, they did so well. And Scott Heverman, uh, the gentleman that is the one that gave me my first opportunity to even start my acting school. And I started it in his comic book store down in, on the coast of Mississippi. Biloxi. In Ocean Springs. Yeah. Ocean Springs. Yeah. Biloxi. Which um, we have to go visit soon because yeah. he has the nice. Three Long Comics company. and, uh, and Backdraft. Uh, Backdraft. Yeah, Backdraft. Backdraft. Backdraft Brewery. Brewery. Featuring Casco Brewing. So. Casco, is that what it is? Casco. Yeah, what, is this, what, is this, what is this, a rap video? <laughs> is it like, like Cascot or it's, Casco? It's the South. It's Casco. It's got to be Casco, right? I don't be, know. If I wasn't sure Louisiana, because always, I would say, but it would be EAU. <laughs> It's like a that could be cascot backdrop brewing featuring Missy Elliott. So yes. like, they had a Ming beer and it, it sold out. There was a Ming beer. Uh, there was also a Brian O'Halloran beer that they made, <laughs> especially for him. Yeah. Except they tapped the keg bef moments before, he got, before he got there, so he never even got to drink it. It, it kicked before he got <laughs> he never there. Never got to uh, try his own beer. Poor so. bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, poor. Yeah, for sure. So you'll have to have a beer named after you. No, oh, me. Yeah, and you got oh, he's dude. naming beers after everybody. Yeah, after everybody. <laughs> that would be amazing. You have a cool name, yeah. too. You know, you London. Know. Yeah. You know, I'm going to let him go with his heart. <laughs> yeah, blue skies over London. Well, London I know, fog. I, I know London it has to be like, I know he loves me and he wouldn't be, he wouldn't do me dirty. It has to be like a good, like a good type Mike, of beer. What's up, buddy? Your personality, like what kind of beer, right? Yes. He knows me, so he'd be able to come up with something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He knows a lot of, he knows a lot about me. Yeah. So the acting school you keep talking about, the yes. London Arts yeah. uh, London Arts Acting School. London Arts Acting School. Uh, yep. what made you decide to go to teach acting? Well, um my uh ex wife and I were living in New Orleans. We met uh Mr. Uh, uh Hoverman. He said, uh, you guys come over to Ocean Springs, Mississippi and come see it. And uh, uh, you can come, come do a signing over there. And, uh, yeah, come and, have fun. And, and, and I'll show you offered, a good time. He, he offered uh, his space at his, uh, his acting school. I mean, his, uh, his comic book store for us to start the acting school. So I just was like, screw it, let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. And uh, it's, it just took off. And I've uh, I promised my students that, you know, one way or another, we'd wind up making movies. Yeah. And not go. only have we wind up, well, I've brought several movies to, to, to Mississippi, quite a few of them, and I've put my actors in a whole bunch of movies mm -hmm. now. And uh, uh, helping them reach those dreams and be a part of all of that has been very rewarding for me. It's a good and feeling, I, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. And it's, it, 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 it has justified me living in Mississippi. And leaving Los Angeles, that would have never happened in a million years. If yeah, I lived in Los Angeles. Oh wow, not a chance. No way. LA, but now uh, anyone can uh, join your class online, right? Absolutely. So absolutely. anyone out there? Yes, London Arts Acting School on on Facebook, um, or you can you know find me on Facebook or Twitter is the best place to find me. Okay, at Sir Jeremy London at Sir Jeremy London. Oh, that's it's, cool. Uh, this is streaming on Twitter now. I've tagged you so uh, at Excellent. Sir Jeremy London. Yes, Sir Jeremy London. So you know, you or know, London, uh, you know, and you can or London Arts Acting School at Gmail. Um, you can also email me, and uh, and we can connect. And I teach over, yeah, you know, online, and uh, I have a lot of students, and it's extremely effective. That's awesome. It is. It is. Yeah. So you don't have to be in Mississippi. You can be anywhere. You can be in the Himalayas. You can, you can be in New be Jersey. A, you can be in New Jersey <laughs> and, uh, and sign up for a class. Everywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. It's the best. It's the best thing ever. You know, I used to travel, uh, honestly, five, six hours. I mean, driving, some, right? You yeah. Drive driving. Wow. I drive to Good. Memphis. Well, Just at, one the time, like at one time, I had classes in Tennessee. Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, and Florida. So you kept driving and to I different places. I lived in Mississippi. Wow. And so to get to all of wow. those different places, I would have to to drive to them. And it mm. was rewarding if I had a really full class. But man, there were sometimes yeah. I'd make five or six hour trek and get up there, and only six people wind up showing up because people, yeah. you know, have to work. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, they just plans. Just actors in general are just flaky idiots. And so, <laughs> <laughs> um, wow, you don't say. Uh, I always thought they were reliable and on no, time and uh, no dependable. They're not. Mike D. Mentioned, uh, he said the world's best pepper jelly. Thank you, Mike D. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. you guys can. I make pepper jelly. Yes, we had it here. We had it here. It's you very did. good. You did. Yeah. Very you good. Did. Yeah, you sent up. We uh, ate it all. London's up, most wanted on Etsy. Yeah, yeah, you sent up two jars. That's right. Was, yeah, that was gone pretty quick. Yeah, it was gone pretty it's quick. It's really good. Yeah, it is good. 
It was, uh, Christopher, you, what is, I have a question for London. What do you like about New Jersey? <laughs> I mean, you've been here for what about four hours now? I've yeah. five spent hours? quite a bit of time in New Jersey. I've oh, been, right. I've okay. Been yeah. Cherry I think yeah, Cherry I love Hill. the people here is the, are, is my number one, is the number one thing that I like about New Jersey. I don't think I've ever met anybody here that I didn't just love. You guys are full of personality and kindness. And we saw you in Atlantic City uh, one time yeah. uh, a couple of years back. Yeah. That was pretty cool. Was that yeah. the Horicon? Horicon, New Jersey. Right. Horicon, New Jersey. Jersey. Yeah. I've never <laughs> yeah. um, At the sh- had anybody be anything, yeah. do anything besides just be kind here, honestly. It's been very, I love it up here. Well, you're very lovable. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know. I'm, I, 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 uh, I try to, I paid me to say that. No, no, you don't have to pay me anything. You could you could come up here more often now that Netflix is moving in down the street here. Yeah, I don't know if you heard this. No. They're, uh, they're building a huge yeah. studio. Netflix is right building a studio here. That's pretty cool. Is that Maybe a, I could get a janitor position. Or something. <laughs> I think that's where we're going to all Lionsgate, start out. Yeah. Lionsgate just moved into uh, Newark. Really? Yeah. So we get a janitor job there too, and then you know between the two we'll be. We uh, what we do is we what we do is we just just keep solve going. really complicated math problems yeah yeah, I, yeah while, at night well, at, at night, night we're supposed while to be cleaning we're the cleaning up <laughs> and then maybe you know we just probably, keep leaving scripts somehow, keep yeah, leaving scripts keep, over yeah, there yeah. <laughs> right you can take some guy's chick and be like do you like apples <laughs> yeah well how do you like those apples i like them apples I got her number, bitch. Yeah. I said I live right next door where they're building it. I said, I'll be over there every day, just pitching, pitching new shows. Be like, just hey, every okay, day, just I got it. Over. I got, right, I got okay, a new one. Right. I got a new it's, one. All right, the, okay, yeah, the Incredible Hulk, but it's a woman. <laughs> yeah. But hold on, hold on. I know now it's her midget brother too. Yeah. So it's Incredible Hulk midget, and she midget, she Hulk. <laughs> like we can just get just done with it. <laughs> It's about a guy is a cop and his partner's a talking pie. Oh, sold. Here's sold. your money. Got it. Here's your big bags of money. Let's see. That's I would watch that. Yeah. So <laughs> so what we're that. saying is, yeah, we, we see you back up here again. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Either pitching uh or completing a successful pitch and putting things into production. But we're excited about tomorrow. It's gonna be a packed house. So it is packed because it's uh, you know, usually we do these things to promote an appearance and hey. Come on out. Tickets sold out a long time ago. Yeah. You can't snooze on these. Of all the Kevin events Smith that they event. had, I think this sold out the fastest. 28 years later. Yeah. 28 years later. What? And the uh hell? yeah. So they're 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 general mission tickets. Where were you guys 28 years ago? I could have been a big star by now. <laughs> you, were, you guys could have come to the theater. You are, you are a big star. And then I <laughs> could have been. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so glad it happened this way. You know how much more fun it is I th- for yeah. it to be more alive now, you know? Yeah. Than to be one of those sort of shots in the dark that just kind of comes in and comes out. Yeah. It's, like it. It, it's really cool, man. It's 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 really a special event. It's going to, what I'm going to, I'm not going to be watching the movie tomorrow. I've seen the movie. I'm going to be watching the audience because yeah. that's the most. Uh, They're going to be cheering and laughing at certain points yeah. and probably screaming. Yeah. And I was saying, probably a thing. majority yeah. have probably never seen Mars on the big screen. Now, when it initially came out, you had two, you had a two week window to go see it, that's if that, true. if in your local area. And then that was it. Then the the next time that I was able to see it on the big screen was at Vulgarthon. Vulgarthon, yeah. That was in 1998, and it's played a couple of times since then. Yeah. I'm sure it popped up as a midnight movie every so often here and there. Uh, I'm sure our friends at Alternate Ending Brewing have played it several times yeah. over at their place. But other than that, it's pretty it's pretty hard to catch on the big screen. And until now, the Smart Castle Cinemas. And if anyone I, hasn't gotten to Smart Castle, oh my God! Like Kevin's put on a show all the time there. I mean, I've seen I've seen it on the big screen at, at conventions more than yeah. I've seen oh yeah yeah they would do screens at oh the screens at conventions yeah. and like, then have you Q and A yeah but when it originally came out <laughs> when the when the investors the people that wanted to make the money were needed to make the money uh, and, uh, yeah yeah so so if you want to go sold out sorry I yeah. you have a ticket though right so I do I'm gonna be would that. you if someone want if you if someone wanted to scalp it from you would you do it. <laughs> Yeah. It was what, a, you know what? like it's... a twenty nine dollar ticket or whatever. I want to go someone, see it. Someone like, you know, like, <laughs> what if this yeah, never? Happens I own it. Again, man. I have it on VHS. Yeah. What I if this have never happens again, right. man? But what if you're like it's going to? But, but someone's like, hey, I'll yeah. give you a, a hundo. I'll give you a hundo because that's how in demand this stuff is. Yeah. Give a, would you sell for a hundo? You know some some of the things that go on there because I I've done many you know and I've yeah you've been I'll around the, forever I'll run the film a lot of the there. a lot of times I'll just ge- say yeah yeah you take it or give it away but I don't want to give it this time okay <laughs> it's gonna be a blast you I can do a Q and A with the having with, a really good time 
with him and 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 Jason and Kevin. Yeah, that you don't see. No. Yeah, no, it's been a long time. And uh, yeah, just I mean, just recently, Jason Lee. Uh, last time I saw him personally, two thousand six, yeah. the Clerks two premiere at the uh, Cinerama Dome. I saw him at Volgatron second Hall Halloween. Volgatron I saw him too. whenever our whenever our uh, I believe tenth anniversary was. So I think yeah. it's eighteen years ago. Yeah, that was uh that would have been two thousand and five, right? So that's yes, amazing. eight geez, that's that amazing. was eighteen years ago. That's wow. crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, that's when that special edition D V D came out too, which was uh yeah, yes. it was about two thousand five. So That's true. Yeah. A bit weird. Yeah. Did you do uh for I forget I can't even remember now. Uh the Mall Rats uh D V D where they do the commentary. Did you do any? He was commentary? not there. I think so. no, no, no. My my favorite part about that commentary which I find highly ironic now. Well, there was different ones. The, yeah. Was different well, ones. there was one where every so often the video would pop up. You could see, you could okay, watch them yeah. commentate. But at one point, they kind of take a jab at you for possibly being a stoner on set. I have no idea what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, <laughs> which I find highly, highly ironic knowing what we know now in 2023 and the, the biggest pothead that I know of. Uh yeah yeah which i, I thought I was I thought maybe that was a bit of the rebel but i gotta tell you i'm not man, rebelling you I saw the not, light man the, i was I'm not right. remotely the only one no of course not. smoking <laughs> weed of course not on no. that move. of course not i said you were a man far ahead of your time i just didn't you like knew. To drink as much and i preferred to smoke and we had a you know listen man after well, like we would start work at you know seven eight o'clock at night and we work until seven or eight o'clock in the morning so our yeah when the mall was closed right yeah. yeah so our downtime was when people were starting their days you yeah. know like our, we were, we were like sort of bamboozled a bit you know it was like we were all upside down man and so the only kind of sort of connectivity anybody had was when we were hanging out mostly in my room oh you were the party playing room. the guitar <laughs> and smoking weed and visiting and connecting yeah. and bonding and you know uh um uh, most most of the cast would be in there, even if the one, even if they weren't smoking, uh, they would just be hanging in, out, right? hanging just out. Hanging. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what else were you gonna do? Wasn't it like in April? We were kids, in Eden man. Prairie, Minnesota. We were, yeah, Minnesota. We were fucking kids, dude. Yeah. We were. I mean, we were. We were. I think I was twenty three or twenty four years old. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and we were. Uh, you know, the hours that we were working were effing insane. Yeah. So you know, since that was uh, at nighttime, did they leave the stage up during the day when people were shopping in the mall? Oh, people the come by, I think so. yeah, and but people they, come by like, "What is this erect? They the yeah, erecting here? They, <laughs> they didn't do that until sort of the end, the, like the last the end of it days yeah. of, of of shooting, and so yeah. during the course of I don't know what three or four days that we shot that scene, yeah, then it was up, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure people walking by like, what the hell is this? Yeah. And then there's the scene where we walk in and they're erecting the stage and he gets hit in the head with, you know. Yeah, the crossbar, so, the, yeah. Yeah, the scaffolding. So honestly, <laughs> I would be, I'm, I'm spitballing. The truth is I don't even, it, it's been so long. Yeah, that was a while ago. Yeah. I, yeah, is that mall still there? I think it's still it, there, right? It? So they, they possibly Eden could, Prairie. Eden Prairie Mall, right yes. by the. So you think they could possibly go back? I mean, I think they should. Yeah. I, I I know they mentioned at one point they were going to shoot at some mall in Pennsylvania back. You know, that was this is when your kid was seven months old. Well, do you remember but, the dirt mall? I remember the. I um, do. I wasn't around. Did that go away? But the is that the, still here? The, nah, the it's US, not. They got rid of oh, it. man. The U.S. one Lover. flea market, right? In, in Edison or yeah, Woodbridge, something, something like that. Something like that. Oh, yeah. My. Yeah. Which um, is ironically, last. they knocked it down and they they put a movie theater on top of it. Ironically <laughs> enough, and they played mole rats there. <laughs> of course, what's how funny with it? I was so. shit on your grave. <laughs> yeah, that's iconic scene though. Yeah, the it is. The it's so uh, it was fun, man. I think one of the f most. I think what I enjoyed about that scene uh, almost more than anything else is that we actually shot it uh, during daylight hours, right? Out and we got to be a bit outside for a little while, you know. Uh, uh, somewhat connected to like air and natural sunlight <laughs> we weren't dealing with just um you know uh bizarre hours and fluorescent lighting <laughs> yeah it was it was, was that good. towards the end of the shoot was it like i think end? so yeah if i remember right i believe that was sort of closer to the end yeah yeah that and uh, nurse terry alden from three's company with, yeah. the, with three nipples that i mean was hey <laughs> if you know i was so young and nervous and uh you know relatively new to the business 
and I used to be in love with her on oh Three's dude company so yeah. she was have her if, just if, and not only that it was how dude. it was how comfortable she was with the whole thing she was way too comfortable like we i think that's what kind of almost freaked us out more than anything is just how comfortable she was just like hey it's most she very comfortable and we were just like uh, oh i don't want to look but i want to look yeah how did you look. hold that together I look really bad that scene as you hold it together when you're, hey, you're living all those man. lines professionalism was, and, and and you know his and and jason's characters and was, what the you know and then you're, you're you're serious you're so serious the whole time it's good act Man, staring right at those things. You God. just listen, man. A lot of yeah, a lot of talking in that too. She's a beautiful woman. Don't get me wrong. Very. Um, at that age, I'd seen a lot of movies. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't anything new to me. Yeah. Um, and uh, we had been rehearsing that scene without her there for Over weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> having her there helped a lot. Yeah, but. The third nipple so, wasn't so a much about so so much about it uh, would it, not, not, it was so it, so much about it was already sort of ingrained into our brain. Mm -hmm. I think it, you know the um, the awkwardness <laughs> of the day right perfected it, yeah. <laughs> but you know I think we had already sort of came to the conclusion that this was going to be a very uncomfortable and weird day, <laughs> and that we were going to and just embrace it and roll with it. But you know we had rehearsed every scene in the movie mm -hmm. till we were blue in the face. The uh, the Kevin so, Smith method. I hope it's it, it, yes, and it works. Practice it works. Practice. Works. It absolutely works. Practice. I thought he was out of his mind at the time. Honestly, <laughs> I used to think I knew everything. I've since learned that I don't, and that Kevin was absolutely right. But yeah, I I you know, it it just things weren't funny anymore. But that's what makes it funny when you actually do it for people when it's real and feels natural and not forced. Yeah, you know? and I think back then you gave line you gave line readings too, right? A bit, but you know, I can't <laughs> yeah. say that I didn't ask for that at some point because oh sure, I, I like how that, do you want me to say that? I was just, I just, this is all completely, you know, clearly you you have a joke in your head, and I need to know, I need to be in on this joke. Yeah. So just tell me the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Once you tell me the joke, I'll give you the joke. Right. What are these weird inside Jersey jokes that you? I oh, know, right? okay, I get it now. Okay, yeah. the dirt mall. Or yeah, the, there's yeah. a lot of. Stuff. But, but, you know, a part of me, a big part of me, you know, I came from a sort of Steve being, being on award-winning drama shows and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And this was, you know, and I stepped into a world of a guy, you know, t so he had a stopwatch and he was like, you know, making us do these things faster and faster. And I thought he was out of his damn mind. <laughs> I did. I did. I thought he was out of his damn mind. And I'm wrong. I was wrong um, in retrospect. It all worked out. It did. It yeah. did. Uh, Chris Hewitt, uh, oh. are you guys drinking Ross Brewing? Why, yes, Chris Hewitt. It's there. We are. We have the uh, Ross Brewing Res Mellow Sour and the Ross uh, Nelson IPA. You were like, yeah, I got my I'm... water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were You were like, I would like a uh, a pale ale. I was like, we got plenty of pale ales here. Yeah, that's let, hop. That's, 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 let that's us a hoppy give you, one. That's hoppy. Give you the hoppy. Yeah, that's so, a hoppy one. To our beautiful, wonderful partners and sponsors at Ross Brewing. Yeah. This is what we do at late at night. What's that one you're drinking? This is called Res Mellow. It's a, it's a Berliner Weiss uh, style sour with raspberries and marshmallows. See, I want to try that. I, dude, uh, we got it. Oh, get it? This one's too hoppy. Yeah, yeah, we'll change it. One. Change it. I got it. Yeah, I got this it. One's too, it. This one's too hoppy for me. Yeah, got it? switch here, it here, up. Give me I'll switch it's it up. It's delicious. Don't get me give wrong. Me I'll finish that. I though. just don't like hoppy beers. Oh, you know, it doesn't feel like you didn't like it. <laughs> it's half gone. Oh, yeah. I love that you're you're choking it down out of courtesy. It's. It's a it's one of very tasty IPAs, but this it is a is. do you like that sour? just sounds more tasty. Do you like sours? I don't know. Okay. What's a sour? What do you mean? It's a beer, it's a sour beer. Sour beer. beer. Yes. Here, oh, listen. This you know, is gonna be fun. If you don't like that one, we'll get you we got we got it's so much beer here. What fun. the hell's a sour? It's a sour beer. Yes, it's it tastes sourly. Sour. Sour, but raspberry. It's got raspberries and marshmallows. So I just started getting used to drinking the sours and getting it oh, and liking God, them my more. Favorite. I love them now. Yeah, it it, it well. Cheers, sour. cheers to the Viewsk universe, to a shared universe, yes. to the Smod Castle Cinemas. What do you think? Interesting. Whoa. <laughs> Is that a good <laughs> one or a bad one? We're not really sure. So. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, all right, we're, we weren't wrong on the sour, but it's uh, it's, a, it's a good sour. That I know <laughs> what I'm drinking. Yes, I think that I can probably start to enjoy this. Okay, if not, we can line up the other I, six beers here. You can, we could do a flight. I think that we could do a flight. We could do a flight. If you have Ross other right ones now. for me to try, I would love. Dude, to try. yeah, I'll, I'll tell, you what, a, I, tell I'll, you what I think about that. I'll give you a four. Now this is almost like. Hold on. 
It's like drinking a Skittle in beer form. Mm, so it wouldn't... is strange with the, with the marshmallow. Taste that the marshmallow. was better because I knew what to expect that time. I think just because I was expecting a beer. Yeah. This is almost like a... more like a fizzy, <laughs> somewhat fruity drink. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that would make sense. It's got yes. fruit. Without, in it. With how much alcohol is it? About Which 4%? Is, it's, it's, I, I, I prefer this over the, okay. the IPA. Okay. No I sweat. Do. Yeah, it's a strong whole, one that IPA. Is this is why strong. Ross has got like sixteen different varieties. He's got now. a lot of different. Yeah, ones. Uh, yeah. out currently right now, not lifetime. Lifetime, yeah. they've got like a oh, oh my hundreds. Yeah, currently it's like sixteen right now. Yeah, hundreds, absolutely hundreds for sure. <laughs> but yeah, that's awesome. Tomorrow starts at eight o'clock, I believe. Are you excited? You me? CJ, are you excited? I know he's excited. I just think it came so fast. Like my days are just like I, I was excited, and now I'm like, like it's here already. Oh yeah. my god, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. So it's it just brings be, back it's my. It's gonna be very you know? surreal for me. I gotta tell you, the whole thing is very surreal. Just yeah. the fact that this thing has life still is very surreal. You guys are hung up on masturbating and over. Over the, this guy, these guys what are, are they the, saying? Like, hung up, up here. They all, they all need to know if masturbating I masturbated in his trailer after the three nipples. That's hilarious. Oh, what my. a question, Joshua S. Mundo. First of all, we didn't have trailers. We all had rooms in the mall. There you go. So did if you I, have your if own I store? Did, it like did everyone? <laughs> it was fashionable it was mail. <laughs> and I was 24, so I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> right. But I don't think I did. Yeah. I think we were more nervous that day and focused on work. Right. Right. Plus, that, I don't think I did that. Yeah. Now, when we not, <laughs> when you guys knocked off that day, recall actually ever doing that. What? It, it was on that when you knocked off that day, like you know where, when they called rap. Oh, you know, it was on then. Yeah. Who yeah. knows? Who knows? Who knows, man? Yeah. I was so young. So there was a whole huge beginning scene that was cut out of that movie. Thank like Animal bring, House. I was going to bring that up. Thank Animal House S type of it, right? If cranes, Hallelujah. there was like movement, like Kevin moved the camera. It wasn't even that, though. We were, with that original opening scene, <laughs> we were so frozen. It was mm. so cold. No. We were shooting on top of a 30 story building in the middle of the winter <laughs> in what, Minnesota? It was, yeah. Wow. It, it, it was, we were miserable. I rem the makeup girls were crying and their tears were freezing to their face. <laughs> wow. It was so cold. To be funny was impossible. And so I just, that first scene just didn't work. Yeah. Uh, ironically, though, it is the audition scene that got me the part in the movie. Oh, wow. <laughs> It was that wow. scene. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. It's something I did. Uh, if you haven't seen it, pick up the Marat's uh, special edition yeah, DVD. It's, don't, prob it's probably on don't. YouTube. Just don't do it. Thing. Don't listen For to Ming. Ming doesn't, even know what he, Ming doesn't even know what he's talking about. Okay. You do not need to see that version of the movie. It just, There's a reason movies are edited and things yeah, wind up on the editing true. room floor. No. There's a reason. It's it, You don't need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> There's no reason to see that. They, somebody a long time ago had a brain and said, that didn't work. Mm. Go back and reshoot it a year later. And we went back and reshot what is now the opening scene in the movie. Yes. A year later, pay attention to oh, my really? hair. Just look at my hair in the movie. Yes. Oh, well. Um, and, uh, Couldn't tell. From one scene to the next. Um, and... Uh, Wow, it, it the solution. What they came to the thing about Brandy swimming or not Brandy swimming. The the girl that was swimming. The in girl the swimming in the pool. Yeah. That, was Julie Dwyer. that was Julie Dwyer. Added Julie later, Dwyer. So that wasn't yeah. even in it. Um, yeah, uh, Julie Dwyer. Uh, yeah, just so funny. Yeah, it was funny. Jesus Christ. I like it. Just cuts to the chase. So right ridiculous. Yeah. You know the fact that I get to say she's fucking dead. Fuck you know, like dead. what? <laughs> Great uh, uh, brilliant, brilliant. And for and, a guy from Jersey who saw Clerks and had that reference, and that was a reference from Clerks. The Julie Rats. Dwyer, yeah. Died in mid Blew my mind the first time I saw it. I'm like, oh my God, they just connected the movies. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and that you know the first you, lines in the movie you, they just connected them. I'll, you can think Marvel right. and DC for that connection is you know Kevin always wanted the universes to connect like comic yeah. books and but uh, right away, right away, like right off the bat. Yeah, yeah I was like, holy crap! You yeah. just connected a black and white movie clerks to Mallrats. Yeah, you are. You <laughs> well, I have a. I, I, I if when we're in the dirt mall, I pick up a hat that says Clerks. That's cl that Clerks on it. Yeah. yeah, it's the original one that, uh, that Scott Mosier's sister Can't made. Remember. Yeah, no, no, no Mosier's yeah. sister did. Yeah, she was the script supervisor. Yeah, is that what you? Pick up and put lovely. down. You pick yep, up, look at it, and put it down. He puts it on yes, for a second. Put it on, okay. And he's like, "This hat sucks." Yeah, yeah it sucks. He put it, it down. That's oh my god. It's like, oh god, I don't want this. See, hat. this is why I want to watch. I can't wait to watch the movie yeah. to see that again. Be like, yeah. oh shit, I remember that. But how many? How many? Getting time, old, I'm forgetting things. But how, I used to remember that movie. How many times would you say you've seen Mallrats? Oh my god, so many. 
All right, not that many. Apparently, you missed that scene. Like no, that one. No, I just, no, no, those are e- those are Easter. We call Easter. Good Easter. Eggs. I just forgot it for a second, yeah. but I, I, I remember. those are little things that you know to this day, nobody has ever noticed that my hair is long in the opening scene. Did not yeah. notice and that. The next time you see me, I've got that fucking short dorky haircut. Didn't never and noticed that. I got to tell you, That's I went awesome. in. I got the role with long hair, and I went in there with long hair, and. The first day I was there, the hairdresser fucking cut my hair off, butchered my hair. Oh. And when Kevin saw me, he was pissed. He was not happy about it. And neither was I. Oh. She, <laughs> she So she fucked it up. She yeah. fucking just decided, oh, I'm gonna this character needs to have short hair. Right. And she cut my hair off. Wow. Um, and yeah, Kevin was pissed, but you know, there was nothing I could do at that point. You just try to make it, you know, look as good as possible and then fucking know that it grows out again. But <laughs> it, nobody has ever, ever caught that before. No, and I don't know what that says about uh, either Kevin's movies or uh, just um, but the dialogue so good. You know, so I'm not looking at now, now. Tomorrow, I think everybody's so I'm fried like, when they watch the movie. Shit, they just, tomorrow yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh my god, yeah. I notice it now. <laughs> yeah. No, I was hanging on every word. I wasn't looking at your hair, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I, and I was yeah. looking at Claire Fulani. Let's it's be honest here. So, I, and I think that's the greatest distraction ever. You, you, uh, yeah. Well, you, your character did well, my friend. So, yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, CJ, put the put the, put them put the movie on and watch the difference. I know yes. CJ Robles, put the oh. put the movie on, bro, and you're gonna laugh your ass off. It's long in the first scene. Next time you see me, it's short. Yeah. Um. Awesome. You have any good Michael Rooker stories? Yes. Um, <laughs> he hated me. Michael did Rooker. He, really? Absolutely. Are you sure? Rooker? He you or did he? Did you just hated think he me. hated you? Because I no, see. he hated me. Yeah. I think maybe <laughs> maybe his him? character just for the character. Maybe, maybe his, he was maybe he was that. in character and yeah. he felt like he needed to hate me. Yeah. But I honestly felt like he hated me, and I felt like he hated the movie. He hated the movie at first. He really didn't like the movie until people started. I don't think he he later it. on. Yeah. Now he loves it, just like all of us. Um, yeah. He loves it, um, and it's one of the things that he gets asked about the most. Um, but. There was a long time when we, oh, it was kind of a failure for all of us. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. Um, yeah. And oh, so man. it was a bit of a sort of, a sort of subject. But it, when we were shooting the movie, I don't know if it's because he was playing the the uh, the dad that's not supposed to uh, like me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, he he, he he when he was like holding my face and I was like right in his face. I yeah. Remember he was like, "Why are you moving your eyes around so much?" And I go, oh, so I'm like, I guess you're scaring the <laughs> shit out of no, me. That's tell why. me how to act. You're scaring me. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> It was you just scary. Yeah, oh. uh, usually if we're at the same con together, he'll have yeah. me moderate his panel. He's the funniest, and uh, he 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 has me do it because he knows he can throw me around and shit. Yeah, uh, he actually put he, him on a bike one time. He put you on a bicycle. We so we were it. at a, we were at a con, and he took the the little banana seat kids bike. <laughs> Somebody had the one from the new It movie. It movie. He had no. He just took it. He didn't know he it was t- from it. He just took it. <laughs> <laughs> oh he, yeah, he, he wrote it up. On, it. He wrote it up on stage, and I'm like, and I'm modern. And I'm laughing, and he's like, "Dude, get up on the handlebars." Yeah, I'm like, got it. <laughs> "Okay, sir, because why wouldn't I?" And then he's like, "We're gonna ride off the stage." I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, yeah hold on tight. We're going off the stage." I'm like, "You did? The-? That's amazing." And and I was like, "All right," so I braced myself to have all my bones broken, and he stops yep. just short of the stage, and That's fantastic. we kind of tip over. Tip over. Then you they're, break it a little bit. I th- I think we flattened one of the tires or something. <laughs> yeah, like the one of the tires gave out, and I'm glad we didn't go over it because we totally would. You were going like this. Yeah, we told instead of you know I think he thought we were gonna kind of go like the Duke's <laughs> the Hazard. We would have tipped over. You know what have hit first? I would have. Yeah. My head would have hit that floor first. Yeah. But he's, and then he's, I, he. He's a very interesting guy. I guess he loves doing like he's a, such a great a, human being. He he really is. He is. He's a big teddy bear. Is all he is. He is. We gotta get him down here. Remember I, when, when there was no one in New Orleans and he, he, someone gave him a bottle of liquor and he yeah. was doing shots with people. Doing shots. Yeah. I I, I yeah, had one or two. That's, yeah. yeah. He's the sweetest guy. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he really. What I love, and I think Michael Rooker changed conventions for me, because whenever I first started doing conventions, there was kind of sort of like a sort of a feeling of being desperate to have to be there and like make money in a way back in the day. Yes. Didn't yeah. feel like it was becoming, you know what I mean? It felt kind of desperate and I never had fun at them. And then I went to a convention and, and, and Michael was there and he was having such a good time and he was being so nice to everybody and everybody was flocking to him. And I 
thought, God, maybe I should just try having fun at these things <laughs> and stop taking them so seriously and just yeah. appreciate what's going on. And man, ever since then, I I love conventions. I, I have you... so much fun. Yeah. I enjoy uh, meeting with the fans and signing autographs and you know talking to people because without them, like we wouldn't get to do this silly yeah. stuff that we do. You right. Know? And then, you know, and they go out and support all your yeah, future work absolutely. as well. So. They're the reason that this movie is still alive 28 years later. It's They're the reason. Yeah. Geez, if you could if you could have a conversation with Brian Johnson for me, please, to just sit back and enjoy these things, uh, that'd be awesome. I don't think it yeah. would change anything. No, but, um, Brian, but, with Ryan Johnson wouldn't change. Why? No. What's up with Brian? He's, pretty, he's been known to be very grumpy at these conventions. Oh, really? And, uh, you know, act yeah. like he doesn't want to be you there. You can't do that. Um, you, you know, can't, not look you, up from his iPad. You can't do that. Uh, snap at children That's for bad. taking <laughs> free photos from 100 feet away. Or uh, at times not even showing up unannounced. Yeah, uh, listen, yeah. This is the old Brian. I remember I, at a New Jersey Horror Con, I, he didn't come, and I sat at his table just sitting I'm there telling you right now, for hours. Just, just like with almost anything in life, yes, it is deciding to change your thinking. Yes, attitude. Yes, it's attitude. If you decide to change your thinking in the moment, whenever you're miserable and you're 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 thinking every negative thing about what's going on, and you're turning it into the lowest common denominator, then it's going to be a bad experience. Yes, but if you start realizing like the little, the, even the small nuanced good things, and understand that you're just blessed to be doing what you're doing now, in general and that none of us are out there slinging hammers and you know doing <laughs> doing actual like you know like hard labor we're we're you know it, it uh puts things into perspective yeah for sure so speaking of which are you do you have any schedule this year are we going to be hanging out later yeah, on convention this year? Uh, yeah there's chiller I, okay. in april I'm yeah, gonna we always stop by Chili. You stop yes, by Chili sometimes. See if I can right. get in a get a na an adjoining table. Chili is always that would be wonderful. So we, we always have fun yeah. next to each other. Yes, man. We're yes. Just and I, I do have a couple more, but I got to tell you off the top of my head, I can't tell you. Oh what yeah, yeah, no sweat. I don't know what they are. Um, I wish I, I could tell I you. I believe your brother and I are supposed to be in Wyoming. I don't keep a later on this. Oh, year. that would be cool. Wyoming, and, huh? yeah, and Wyoming. I, and I have you been to Wyoming? Never. It's beautiful. Which is why I think you should come. What time of the year? Uh, I believe it's in July. Really, seventh through the ninth, dude. Wyoming, Wyoming huh? Wyoming you know popcorn is beautiful. Oh. It's going to be there. Do they have a film festival? Get <laughs> up to the mountains. They man. do not have a film festival. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. I, I enjoy the cons in, anyway. In Wyoming, get up to the mountains. And uh, it's more specifically, it's in a town called Casper. Don't wow. know if you've ever been there, but Casper, oh, uh, Hoverman, hook a brother up. I'll I need, I'll do an appearance at Three Alarm. You know I will always. Oh, dude. I, hey man, bring a, bring me along, man. Yeah, we, hey, dude, there's my honey, there. Leslie oh, yeah. Stewart. That's ah, what's up, oh, Leslie? Wow. That's the love. All right, life. Jeremy, are Jeremy, you down, you are are you down for that one too? Which one? Is well, that, well, let me talk to the promoter. Her name is Carla. Wait, honey, which one am I down for? She's amazing. She's telling me which. Oh, which one's you down knows, for? Yeah, she knows. She got, she got it down. Smart. Yeah, she knows all those things. That's awesome. Yeah, I, well, the Wyoming one sounds good. Yeah, we've all, we've always got three alarm comics yeah, too. Honey. Yeah, we got to go down there because I, I want to taste you, the you, uh, three alarm is things. amazing. It is. <laughs> I got to tell you guys, big huge shout out Wyoming in July. I'm gonna be. Oh, hey, I'm gonna be at the oh, one in Wyoming. Wait, in what? Yes. Yeah, you're there. That's, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna I, go. We're I'm gonna. Off. We gotta. I don't have to work. Wyoming, <laughs> so beautiful, man. I shot okay. a movie with Corin. In Idaho, Wyoming, yeah. Corey Nemec, our yeah, our Corin, Corin, yeah, Corin, 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 yeah, Mr. Um, Parker Lewis, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Berkeley, oh, wow. and uh, Ellie Keats, and Ernie Reyes. Uh, wow, er Ernie's Ernie, we, we, yeah, Ernie's a good guy, yeah, 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 yeah. really great guy. Uh, yeah. Roger Corman produced kind of like sort of low budget movie. Oh, really? We were stuck up in the mountains eating like freaking cellophane noodles at every day that we were like, hey, you know, we were miserable. No, we were. It was awful. Oh, and uh, but we, they, it was, <laughs> it was the setting up it was just so beautiful and we went to like yellowstone and and all of that it was oh, wow. it was it was gorgeous holy crap that's awesome Dude, okay it's, I, yeah. it's well, well then well i can't wait wow. hopefully we'll have some time to to actually see wyoming so often when we do these conventions we get stuck in these damn yeah, in, uh, inside, right? Oh, you, you just yeah, the hotel. Inside. You go from I, the yeah. airport to the hotel. Ming finds a way out. Oh, I never. Yeah. I, I, you know, what I do. I go to the hotel. You do. I drop my bag yeah. off. I take a dump, and yeah. then I. And then you're out. Then you're I'm out. out. I'm like, never right, there. You just crash whenever. You're, you're, all right. Uh, yeah, I go to the. You know, I find the local coffee place, and then I ask him where the good dive bars are. I'll never forget. And we're in Houston, and uh, I was with uh, guys from Hang On Nia Shorts, and we were done. It was late. We were done. It was like two o'clock in the morning. Not done with me. We go uh, back to the hotel. 
<laughs> and then we see like in the morning we wake up and there's a picture of a taco at four in the morning that you went out and yeah. you got you showed it yeah, to yeah, us. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're still going. You were invited. Listen, I, invited yeah, I can you tell you fresh. one thing that I learned could make very, it. very early okay. in conventions. Okay. And that is do not party when you're there until if even After. the last day. <laughs> because sitting there all day long sweating <laughs> alcohol yeah. is yeah. the most miserable one of the most miserable experiences you could I, ever I don't Marsha. <laughs> Marsha Kurtzman. Kurtzman. Yay. What's up? Wait. My love. I love those two people right the, there. It's a Walt. Walt. Walt no, I what? think she means those Wait, was two it of Walt? My favorite what? People Walt on the planet. The greatest makeup artist. Oh, in by far. Cinema history. By far. Kurtzman. Um, uh, we. Uh, what's this dive bar he went to in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I think we may be hanging there at some point. So Scott. he means the dirt bar. So we the dirt uh, bar? will go to the dirt it, bar. Who said that? Uh, Scott. Scott wants Oh, he's been there? Dude. Yeah, we brought him there. Yeah, we I forgot him. about we that. We brought him there. And we had yeah. pizza, too. That guy was up. He made the pizza. The the old guy was awake. Yeah, he made. He only makes pizzas when he's not and he's awake in the bar. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty awesome. And and if the sauce is there. Remember, he said he, he had to make the sauce from scratch. Only makes the pizza if the plum tomatoes are ripe yeah. and in the perfect condition. He wouldn't for do it for us. It's winter, because it happening. wasn't ready. It wasn't yeah. right, right? Yeah. I can't. Where's he going to get the tomatoes from right now? <laughs> I, I, this new, you know, I, I think it's New Jersey. He knows a guy. Yeah. He, he knows, knows a guy. guy. Yeah, of course. He knows a guy. He's like, I got a boat coming. <laughs> hey, yeah, for sure. Well, jeez, cool. oh, we're going to see each other in July. That's awesome. I don't even know if that's even been announced yet. So, Carla, if you're watching, uh, sorry, we may have jumped the gun uh -oh. there. But, hey, come on. That's a, What a hell of a way to announce a guest. I know, though, right? right? That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, for sure. That yeah. sounds pretty cool. None of you man. heard anything. Yeah. None of you saw any of that, heard any of that. You've been Jedi mind tricked. Um, so tomorrow. These are not the dates you're looking for. <laughs> so tomorrow screening and then Q and A. Is it after, Q &A right? After? Yeah, after. I believe so. So okay. we'll be in the Q and A. You guys may be there late. You know these Kevin Q and A. Yeah. You know how. So if go. it starts at eight, so what's Q and A about? <sighs> ten o'clock. Well, ten thirty. I can't 10. wait. I, I want to milk it for everything it's worth, man. It should be. That's what it should. It should be an event, don't you guys think? It's yeah. an, oh, it's definitely an event. It should be. An event. Everyone's like, oh man, it, everyone's like going to be so excited to be there. They're going to love every minute. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Sure. It's like a concert, and I'll tell you, we, uh, we, we all have. We really haven't all been together uh, like this for a. It's been way too long, yeah. you know, and we're all over fifty. Now, I think now, I don't know how Kevin, old Kevin is. Uh, over 50, 50. I'm four, 52. He's fifty-two. 52. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm fifty now, and I'm a grandfather. And, I don't know how old Jason Lee is, uh, but I, I know he's right around, around the same. Oh, around the same. Got to be around the same. And we're and and it's just going to be a completely different dynamic, I think. But like one, like more of, kind of a of it's just a, a family, like almost like a family reunion. Kind yeah, of thing, you know, I'm excited about. That's that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I I mean I was beyond happy when I heard you were coming up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, exciting to see you again after just like yeah, kind of Joseph so and Ashley making quickly. this happen. So. I gotta th say thank you. Yeah. Joseph oh yeah, and Ashley, yeah. They're they're we're making this. They're happen. they're That's, awesome. That is really cool. Just really really cool. And, he, and he texted me. He said, "I've got some good news, and I've got some good news." <laughs> That's always what good you to hear. Always want to hear. Right. You don't. Want, I don't want any bad news. No, Done. Man. Give me the good news, and then the even better news. And you know, I got to tell you, these things fall through so often. You know, there have been so many times whenever I thought these things were going to happen, and then yeah, right and then the last month. Huh, it oh, we've been there. You're so. the. It's like, hey, you're you're going to a con in, yeah. in the Isle of Wight, south of <laughs> you know, England. Like, oh, so this is going to be great, and then nothing. Like, hey. So no. where? Well, this guy yeah. just went to Dubai. That's terrible. Well, that he was really? just in Dubai. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were that, you really? <laughs> yeah, went there for Comic Con. Yeah, some nut threw a Comic Con out there, and it was. How was it? It was uh, the con itself was. Uh, did they was, know who you were? They did, shockingly enough. Yeah, there are a lot of expats in Dubai. You know, people come from all over the world. So That's uh, a lot of people had uh, had you know had moved over there from here. You know, they're from all. I'd over be the shocked US. if one person knew who the hell it was. If no, we I. I'd they be they do. Be, oh, they do. I'd be like. You, they oh yeah they do yeah they they get morats there they get yeah. you know they get part what? you're probably yeah, yeah party if you know, probably based on <laughs> they party let of people five watch it you probably don't know but there's probably a, a they probably yeah. have it live now like, yeah over there no. party <laughs> it's like probably just, just, just got it yeah. party, party of five <laughs> the tables of five coming to <laughs> eh. I remember one yes one kind of, one country called the Tables of Five was the name of it. Really, all kinds of different names depending on which country. Because yeah, Party of Five didn't make sense to it's a like, lot of people. Like in Euro Trip when they get there and they're like Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't be mistaken. Though, Dubai is much more westernized than you you would think it was. Yeah. So, 
Uh, it was right before I went out there. I, I read all the do's and don'ts. I did not want to offend anybody. Mm. Didn't want any body parts missing when I came back. Didn't you know? I, I wanted to stay out of trouble, so I read all the protocol, which you know, uh, don't 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 touch women without. Mm. Well, don't just don't touch. Yeah, women. You, you do not be. want to be in a no, right over there. there. That you know, don't don't be drunk in public. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you know, th then there are these you know more right. specific rules. Don't don't shake with your left hand. Yeah, stuff like that. So I was trying to keep my nose. Even clean. like where they all drive like Bentleys, they all still Bentleys. Wiping with their, a lot of Lambos still wiping their ass with their other hand. Do yes, they still do that. It's it's a cultural thing. What? Supposedly, I don't know. I didn't I didn't sit there and watch. So oh. come on, yeah. really? So you know, I was very respectful. You know, dressed modestly, which you know. Yeah. And then I got there, and I was like, wait a minute. It was different. I well, I mean, the the women dress like normal. They dress like they do here, like yeah. you know, in the U.S. They didn't have to wear anything on their. Yeah, have you seen pictures of like women in like Iraq, like fifty, sixty years ago? Oh they yeah, could, before they were gorgeous, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, they got yeah. To wear before the shot, yes, uh, mini, all that. The, the mini dresses, like they got to like yeah, very yeah, be uh, I, I ran free I, free souls, free yeah, spirits. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, you know, I the, did the, see the, stuff about the, now they're getting killed if they don't wear their hijab yeah. the proper way. Yeah, they're, they're wearing it and they're just not wearing it the proper way. Yeah, but you that's know, at, sad. At one point, I've been invited to this bar in Dubai by some locals. So I'm, I'm doing tequila shots and dancing with Saudi women. I'm like, mm. I'm just sitting this there. Could go bad. And I'm like, this is not what I thought Dubai was going to be day, like. Right? And I'm going to roll with it because everybody else is. And I I've, I don't think I'm going to get in trouble tonight. And you know, I, 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 it was fun. It I was told fun. Ming he should write a book about all the places he spent. Absolutely. I'm working on it. Like this guy says, Jeremy, do you have any memories of Party of Five? He's like, I know you used to party really hard. Do you remember any of that? <laughs> no. Anything? Do I have any memories? Of course, I have memories. Yeah. I have tons of memories. What kind of memories? What kind of memories? Be more specific. <laughs> yes, be more specific. Uh, Ming, you had a killer booth in Dubai. Oh yeah, so you know, usually we go to a comic and you get a table. Basically, this you get this table. Right. Yeah. The six foot card. If table. you're lucky. I had this whole thing. It looked like a studio apartment. It was cool. Nice. It, had, it had like a wall and everything. And yeah, like, yeah, it was cool. Like pillars. That's cool. And pillars. They they, <laughs> they like they put my name on the top of it on all, all four sides. It was pretty wow. cool. Then this artist came over and drew a big mural on the that's other amazing. back of the other side. It was in Arabic. I'm like, what is that? That's it was fantastic. like, oh, that's that's your name. I put that's your name so in Arabic cool. on there. I was like, Holy wow. Crap, I'm so, not gonna say I'm not jealous. I'm jealous. That's, so I'm hoping you know. After you want to go back after Wyoming, we'll go to Dubai. Good. Sure. Let's do that. Let's go do one of those like wingsuit dives off the top of the uh, the Burj the Khalifa. Burj Khalifa. <laughs> <laughs> I. You know what? I do it. You know. <laughs> I would like some training first. Possibly. Dude, dude the you know, jets you put on your back. How hard can it be? I don't think there's any matter. I think you have a parachute. I don't I think you Yeah, just, pussy. Come on. <laughs> there's it's just the you know tallest what? building in the world. You know, what what a it way has to, its own environment and atmosphere. Uh, what a way to go then. It That's a way to go. Yeah. If that it, would be a good story. I mean, frankly, listen, if you're gonna go I was wingsuit diving off the it, top of the Burj Khalifa. It's just something you <laughs> Lord. Have you, is this something you've watched? Because I pulled yes. up YouTube videos of this. They do have that. Yeah, they, yeah, they have these two they guys. They have to do with the two different colors, and they're like going around each other. Have you seen that? Yeah, uh, yeah. They they light really? smoke on their really? legs. Like Those are just smoke. The skydivers. They're dudes that do this. The and they legit not. They don't just go to the top of the bridge. There's this, this huge antenna that's like really oh, this, so the top, antenna. Top. So they yeah. go all the way to the top, and they shoot a video of them jumping off and flying around. It's like around going to Empire ship. State Building and climbing that one. Yeah, uh, that little bar. <laughs> so the yeah. FM radio. Well, I, apparently, I, it, it, apparently, Elon Musk was going to build a Tesla uh, building bigger than the Burj Khalifa, but I think that has gone. That's that dream has gone. So no, he probably should have done that instead of buying Twitter. Yeah, but thanks. you know what? I don't ask anyone we to spend the money. Have they Listen, sent anyone uh, to space? Still got more lately? money than me. What's that? And they sent any oh, yeah. people space to space still lately? Thing, yeah. They still doing that? I think the so. Space, yeah. The space, the five minute ride to space. Yeah, and back. it's good revenue. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah it's, oh, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's brilliant. Uh, make me find you a frisbee golf course. It's up disc there. golf. So first of all, disc golf is something that you're really <laughs> Old into. Man. Uh, something I, I used to. I am into disc golf. I played a lot when I was in high school. Uh, there was a course by my house. What is this? Well, it's actually people. It's actually getting like a, people, they're starting to get million dollar contracts. And yeah. Stuff now. So it's, it's uh, becoming a real thing. Disc now. golf. If you, we should go. I'll, I'll teach you. I don't play. know what it is. So you go Man, to a field check it out on YouTube. It's, and, um, it's like playing golf that you, with you, a frisbee. You, they're discs. Yeah. They're not frisbees. Sorry, they disc. go a lot farther disc. than frisbees. They're, frisbees. Yeah, they're, they're different. They're, they're weighted each by one. They, they do different the things. Thing. Some go left. Some go right. Yeah. Some make S turns. All kind of, It's amazing. Wow. It's, it's like a science there's, to there's it. There's like a driver disc. 
There's yes. uh, you know, a like putter like, disc. Like a putter disc. It's the same there's concept one, as regular. You, know, you birdies, eagles, wow, bogeys, yep. scorecard, blah, blah, blah. all of that stuff. And Jeremy's a Tiger Woods of disc I'm golf not. right now. I'm so. not. <laughs> Or I'm he's not. aspiring to be. I'm All right, not. maybe you know, maybe the Tom Kite of I, disc golf. I'm more so. like the Bill Murray. The Bill, okay, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of holes, are these chain link? They're baskets. chain link baskets, yeah, really. And, it, and you got you got to throw it in the basket. YouTube disc golf, yeah, it will blow your mind and change it's the world. It's awesome. I'm 50 years old, and I played 54 holes of disc golf yesterday in a in a row. Wow. Yeah, very in very a, yes, in a with row? my stepson. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best exercise. It was, uh, it was incredible. Yeah. Fifty four, huh? Wow. How did you get into disc golf? Uh, my my my, my, my uh, oldest stepson, my grandbaby's mama's dad. <laughs> if that makes sense. Wow, that's gonna get complicated. <laughs> uh, Ricky. So the my, okay. my grandbaby's I, I drew a map other my, my grandbaby's other grandfather. Okay, uh, introduced me to it. Okay, yes. Yeah, and he's I mean, young, he's younger than me. Yeah, they're uh, in nearby Oceanport. There's a I think there it's, is one. there's a nine. It's either nine or eighteen. I think it's nine. Really, it might be eighteen. And um, it's amazing what they have that you don't realize that they have. Around. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. I remember. Yeah, I used to go to this park and they had uh, behind you know at the with the check in desk. I think you paid two dollars to play eighteen holes, but then they had all these discs for sale back there, and I was like, oh man, dude, it's you have cool. to do it. First of all, I'm a huge Simon Lazat fan. And Simon Lazat just he's just changed from one company called Discmania to the co a company for the discs that I throw the most of, which is MVP and Axiom. Yeah, and uh, he's getting a million dollars a year. And dude, <laughs> a year, listen, just a couple of years ago, the biggest prize that these guys would get would be like thirty five hundred dollars. Right. <laughs> You know, so yeah. that just tells you where this, where wow. the, where this blowing up, going. man. When you got people like Ricky Waisaki, who's the number one in the world right now, who just, I mean, these, the, the, the amazing, uh, accuracy, but these guys can throw, okay. So like my farthest that I can throw is maybe, maybe on the back, my best throw about 380 feet. These Simon has thrown one like 900 and some, Holy feet, 900 and some feet. Wow. These oh guys are throwing like 600, 700, yeah. 800 feet. Wow. And it's not all strength. It's, mind, it's, it's technique. It's technique. Yeah. Spin. There are girls on the women's uh, professional tour that throw 450 feet. Yeah. So it I, is. What, what's the spin like? And I'm let's, finally, let's and I'm finally getting it. I'm finally getting it. You have to like spin around or how do you no, get no, it? No, no, no. There's a cross step when you come up in the hallway that you swing your arm and everything like that. But there are things called hyzer flips and all of these like different ways that you get the discs to come out and then pop up and float and then come down. And they some go left, some go right. Wow. And you learn you have to learn how to, you know, different angles and all of that stuff. But it's just it's like a Zen experience. It's a much more uh, a personal experience. Yeah, it's I cool. think than like um, ball golf. It, it really truly is. Like I used to throw the, the discus. The I wonder yeah, if that would help. You coach yes, discus, I, so I think that's would, Absolutely. If you yeah. did the discus, I did the discus. You would coach sail discus, right? I coach. I I coach oh, middle school bro, discus. Oh, you yeah. will destroy. Really? Oh, yeah. and I can still do. It. I still got it, dude. Yeah. Just so don't throw it. Just far. YouTube. Just YouTube disc yeah. golf. It will blow your mind. It'll change your life. And if you did that, I am. bro, I you'll be able spin. to. Uh, I was the best. Like at spinning. first of all, yeah, you're in Simon Lazat and all these guys. They they, they will do. <laughs> a 360 Pole, yeah. spin and throw it and wow. throw it really far as yeah, a matter yeah. of fact i think the, the the long throwers like simon lazat and the guys that throw there's one guy that throw it like 1200 feet but he threw it in a 40 mile an hour wind so I, oh okay so you don't help. count it yeah. okay um but tailwind. they they spin they spin and then throw it wow and anthony barella it was one of the you know top dogs he's with discraft i gotta try young that. guy you know, yeah uh, you when it gets warmer it. we'll go yeah. you would we'll love it now you're gonna destroy me but that's cool like i don't care you love it <laughs> It's cool. I'll dig out my old discs are in a bin. And it's somewhere. not a you know, it's not one of those things where you uh it's not one of those things where you um are really competing. Like when you play ball golf, one thing that I noticed it's a, there's kind of an elitist sort of attitude with ball golf and people everybody wants to kick each other's ass. Mm -hmm. Right. In disc golf it's the community is so supportive of yeah. each other. Everybody just wants to see their friend or their the loved one throw a good, good a good throw. throw. Yeah. And yeah. everybody's just so happy for somebody else when they mm -hmm. get that because they know the good feeling that that person's having right there because it's 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 a different experience it's very cool it's very awesome. satisfying yeah. son when you when, when you're when you're when you're putting you hit those chains right at the, the right chains, angle it's addicting, it falls man. into the basket yeah you hit the sound of those chains oh. it's addicting i've got a basket in my backyard and my stepson and i just we'll go out there for hours and play horse you know and uh it's incredible yeah and i think they have portable uh baskets now right 
They have port. I heard I they had go portable anywhere. ones at that. My, my, I can oh, break can? mine down in about two minutes and okay. pack it up and take it with me anywhere I want to go. Wow. That's cool. I, I just sparked a memory. I remember uh, in our neighborhood we didn't have the, the baskets, so we'd be like, "All right, the, the next hole's at the you know that stop sign right there, like eight hundred feet away." <laughs> yeah. We just go into. There's the, nothing wrong, dude. Listen, yeah, that's how we would play. Go get a disc. Uh, even I think why, Walmart is starting to carry Ricky Wysocki. Oh. Um, uh, I believe it's disc. Uh, dynamic discs yeah. um, uh, starter pack and it gives you a driver a mid-range and a putter and those wow. discs are so good that it will get you going and then after that you'll want to start doing your research and figure out you know which kind of discs that mean go to a disc store talk to the pro there and have tell them the you know your style your style and how long you've been doing it and all that and they'll 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 lead you you know on the right path and you know it, it's just important not to get started with uh, discs that are too fast and stuff like that they've got different speeds oh. one through thir- one through 14 and a half i believe mm. it is right now and uh, the the highest speed disc that i have is 13 yeah but it's because i throw hard right most people don't need to throw over a nine or a ten you know, oh, well. yeah, it's so cool. figuring out that kind of stuff too. and then uh, you yeah. know, when you look at this you flip over there's a little number on the bottom there it's, there's uh, a bunch of numbers the weight there's four grams. numbers yeah there, there's the weight um but there's dump, but a bunch of different numbers there's the speed and there's the glide and there's mm-hmm. the does it turn left or right and all of that kind of stuff so yeah. that's pretty neat I'm excited. I, th- I think you would like it. Yeah, yeah, when it warms it, up. If you were a discus, bro, yeah. you're going to flip. You're going to love this. Yeah. I love, love I've been coaching the discus for years. Uh, discus and shot, shot well, for middle yeah. school, for middle we'll school get, kids. We'll get the shared universe uh, disc golf team going. It's a good family we'll, thing. We'll man. print up our own I, I score tell you, cards. My, my, yeah. my beautiful lady and, and, and her son, my stepson, Ethan, and our, we'll take the grandbaby out in the stroller and go out as a family and yeah. play around. It's so cool, man. Yeah, it's very laid back, very it's cool. So that's, and, that's awesome. Yeah, and and like the community is pretty pretty tight. Oh man, the people at OTB Discs and uh, at Grip Equipment uh, found out that I was a disc uh, golf fan and there you sent go. me sent us ba- disc uh, bags, hats. Oh no way! Discs oh, wow. like all of these, this kind of stuff. When uh, when do we see the, the no, when do we see I the don't get drunk no we're not drunk oh, oh wow. that's uh that's that's our friend Virginia oh she um no she uh she was she was the craft beer buyer over at our favorite gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. bar called the Nip and Tuck yeah uh, now she's works working sales over at Carton Carton. Brewing my friends so of which I buy purchased just this week a, yeah. a keg from her a uh, keg of beer called Cafe E Horchata. It's a it's, over there. it's a coffee imperial cream cream coffee ale with with, with horchata in it. And that's really? a beer. Yeah, it's a beer. It's more of a beer it with sounds coffee. Sounds like a dessert, like a weird <laughs> like. It's, it's amazing. It's also very strong. So yeah. thank you, Jin. We and love that you. Sounds like I would be. We love you. Later. I, I hear I'm getting carton glassware tomorrow, so we got a good, pretty good. We got a pretty good hookup. Nice. But, there you, know, you go. But I, I always, you know, we've had Augie Carton on the show, so the the guy who started Carton Brewing. So yeah, we cool. yeah. A lot, of, a lot of people in in here. This is great to have you here. Yeah, in yeah. I, well, I, uh, I mean, this is something we've been wanting to do for a while. So this is when way you, overdue. We, man. when we heard way you were coming overdue. to town, like, dude, got it. If, if you yeah. come to the studio and podcast with us for a little bit, it would, it would make my year. So, of course, man. Anytime, I, really, I appreciate it. I'll be back up here, and uh, you know, I'll do this anytime. You know, I will. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, what, you are paying me, right? Oh, I mean, hey, uh, yeah. Send me the wait. You're not paying. Send me, me the Venmo invoice, and uh, what? We'll, we'll take we'll take care of it. So, and uh, I remember one of my more, one of my more fond memories of last year was sitting at breakfast with you, uh, so Uncle fun. Uncle John's pancake eating wagon. Pancakes. What? In, in Gatlinburg, pan- Tennessee. Oh, in pa- Gatlinburg eating oh. pancakes. Yeah, can I tell and you I real? Think we had just seen the bear, didn't? We? Had we just? Seen I the think bear? you had just seen the bear. Yeah, I saw. Was... I didn't get to see a bear, <laughs> but I um. <laughs> Yeah, I'll tell you a really quick story. The yeah. the day before I heard he was in town, he was like, Oh, yeah. we're eating breakfast at the hotel. And I was like, Oh, I'll come meet you. And like it was in the the breakfast was right by the indoor pool, so it yeah. smelled like chlorine oh, the yeah. whole time. It did. It was horrible. And I saw this <laughs> breakfast. That food was <laughs> it was on like a paper worst, plate. The most and I'm like, <laughs> And you know, I'll eat my anything, poor right? lady, my poor. But I was like, are those eggs? Because they, they were like look, liquid. What the eggs. hell was that? My, my oh, poor, my poor I felt so lesson. bad. I'm like, all right, this I can't. This oh, won't. Not in my. Yeah. Not on. Not on my watch. I'm like, dude, tomorrow meet me at Uncle John's pancake we wagon. Uncle John's pancake wagon. Yeah, which we was so you know, down the amazing. They were so delicious. Dude. And um, so, that place had a line out the door. 
We did. And, uh, yeah, we and yes, Gatlinburg is the Vegas of the South, and mm -hmm. it is Keechee, and there's, I'm, I'm not a big fan of most of it, but this place. Yes, thank you, Courtney. It this is, place. Ming is very really good at finding breakfast places. So damn good. Yeah, but this one was literally right down the street from But it was clearly so. like the, t there, the, there's a reason there's a, you know, a line out the door. But what was nice about it is the line moves really fast. Yeah, well, and I was quick. quite improved. I'm improved, well, impressed. Move quick, and um, yeah, you didn't get I think something. she talked me into being believing I was drunk. Yeah, so definitely not drunk. Yeah. No. And four, Im impressed. Is Jen, this is 4.4%. Yeah, we're yeah. not getting, we are four, not getting no. drunk. Um, uh, uh, no, no, no. I, I was just, not only that, the food was delicious. Yeah. Well, I Ty, yeah. if you're listening, we'd love to come back. So, yes. yeah. Ty, Ty, uh, Ty, 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 shoot, shoot. Who's shoot, that? shoot the promoter. Yes. Ty, yes. Ty brings back. We, we would we love to come it. back. Man, what was that breakfast Absolutely. place in Houston that we went to? Oh, that was the Breakfast Club with breakfast a K. Breakfast Club with a K. Yeah. It's kind that of soul, soul food breakfast stuff. They right? just doesn't the word breakfast have a K in it? It does, but no. club is breakfast club, oh, but the you. clubs gotcha. clubs yeah. spelled with a K. And they they make you go in like oh, there's a line, but it talk about the line, man. That's a like, huge line. They're like, order, go, order, oh, get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> One of those, but yeah, imagine fried <laughs> catfish. It's really good though. It's so worth it. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, this is why this is why I do anything. It's for food. <laughs> it's for just just to eat and occasionally drink as well. That's at night, but mm -hmm. if you know the main motivating factor is food here, so. Yeah. Oh man, it was so good. Should have a reality TV show on the Food Network. Hey, did you go to the haunted house <laughs> thing that we did? I did not. Oh yeah. So that they set up these hilarious. kind of experiences during so the convention. Cool. Oh. And him and his brother did. They led a haunted house. He did. My they brother were... is the biggest <laughs> pussy. <on> the <laughs> I've Perfect. never seen Perfect. a bigger coward. I almost forgot about that. I've never, I've never like seen a bigger stuff. coward in my entire life. My brother was like, if you were walking, most of the girls probably even watching this, and definitely my 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 lady, um, through a, a house with a bunch of rats running around. My brother was so <laughs> mortified to be in this haunted house. It was one of the funniest things I've ever witnessed in my entire life. <laughs> Like it was so hilarious. I apologize for not being there. Um, he knows, at, Scott. You can tell him he knows. He was just like, he was the biggest pussy I've ever seen. It was so funny. Yeah. You went. went What'd you, you do at the haunted uh, house? Well, that you just hosted people they, going in. They, we we literally just walked with people. groups of people oh. through this haunted house, and yeah. the first time we did it. Not only did it feel like it took forever, but it was a it was genuinely scary. It yeah. was yeah. genuinely scary. They do a phenomenal job there, and they've got these clowns, which I clowns. Hate. Clowns. Uh, if, oh. it, nothing scarier than clowns. a clown. Okay. Nothing scarier than a scary clown. Um, but they had this girl that cl climbed around, climbed around, you know, and just the whole thing was just creepy. And they do a really good job That's with cool. it. Cool. It's very. Um, it's very. Uh, uh, I guess. It was, theme parky kind of feeling sure but, well it's gatlinburg it's, so it is but it's genuinely scary the first time you go through yeah <laughs> went through a couple of times because yeah. of the different groups but, different groups yeah. but uh the first time was genuinely scary but um i had such a great time watching my brother be such a chicken, <laughs> chicken <laughs> chip that i never awesome. and, and i was never scared i just right. i would kept hoping he would be really scared <laughs> I, was, I was like i just whatever happens next please 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 make my brother even more scared than he is right now <laughs> please i gotta see where this is gonna go <laughs> i'm sorry so i missed that so at the they scheduled at the same time yeah. Did was a moonshine tasting it was. with uh, Felissa Rose from Sleepaway Camp. We did that. And, uh, I, you know, those and, little and thimbles. Walter I, Jones. Well, you get like 13 that, of them, man. though. Yeah. You get 13 of those. And thimbles. then they give you the one that tastes like freaking straight up isopropyl alcohol. Yes, the Literally, straight, unflavored. The worst. Just the regular moonshine. It, it with tastes like turpentine, yes. <laughs> it's rocket fuel. It'll it'll put hair on your chest. That is it like uh, Malort up there? No, it's just like straight up gasoline. Like it's, you ever had moonshine? Yes. Okay, so you know, but it was probably apple pie flavor yeah, or something. Yeah, mostly no, a flavor. This one. is like straight up, like just really? rocket fuel, high octane. It was like it'll, yeah, like it'll, like, it'll light shit on fire. Yeah, man, it was like something that you would start a fire with. <laughs> but the great or thing that, like is, they're like you know, they put a like lighter up and they go. And blow yeah, they do that. Yeah, they do that. Really? Part of the show. Yeah, yeah they blow a fireball and shit. Wow. That's what it's like, and, and so then, and it hits you just like that too. The guy serving yes, you. Yes, white lightning, hunter proof, Courtney Wright. White lightning. Thank you. One hundred. That's, that's what it was. Thank yes. you, white lightning. Thank you very much, Courtney Wright. You're amazing. <laughs> yeah. I don't but know what my lord is, uh, Scott Hoverman. Uh, my lord is uh, probably the worst tasting spirit ever. It's, up there. it's out of the great city of Chicago. 
and it's something that we use to initiate people. We celebrate with it, and we also punish people with it. So, uh, new uh, podcasters. Yeah, we buy a uh, new Not podcasters. A, uh, uh, well, yeah, kind of a thing we do here. But uh, CJ yeah. says that it's wor- the worst, but he still drinks it. Like and that's true. Uh, why would it, why do you do that? Why do you people do this? I, well, I, I there's drink so much it. actual good stuff out there. Yeah. Why well, drink something that's gross? I, I drink it now. We do it to, to break people in, and it's fun. Yeah, we do it in solidarity, that's even funny. though we should. I, I, I yeah. get like, that. Why would we do that? I get that. We I'm used to it. You know, used to it now. So I just you love are. the reactions of the people. It's like I dare you to piss on this electric fence. <laughs> yes, that's, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it's it like is. Yeah. Mikey likes it. I was. Jesus yeah, God. but was Mikey like, doesn't like it. Mikey does not like it. But masochist. <laughs> Man, I like the little uh, background you got here. Oh, I love it, man. This is cool. This would be my. This is actually green behind it. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's, that would let's be green that would be my one of my maybe a little it's more impressive. weathered. I but like if, it. if I could afford a real backdrop, that's what it would look like. Yeah. So now with the green screen, we could put whatever we want. Absolutely. No, I love it, man. Yeah. So, dude, thank you for so much for coming down, man. Yeah. I hope. Dude, I I'll hope do anything a- for money. Yeah, I hope you have a great time. You owe me a lot of money. I like um, I will come stop by if I can. I don't have a ticket, so I don't know if they'll let me in. No, oh, they gotta oh, let you shut in. Up. There's always what? seats. You're my friend. It's not you're my theater. In. I don't. It's, I have well, no. Well, you're with me. Shut up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that yeah, might work. Yeah. That break. nepotism. It Could works. You imagine if they if they didn't let Ming Chen in. The damn they always let you. You just walk Fuck in. Them. I, but I don't like waltz in like I own the place. I'm like, hey, this is cool. Like they love you anyway. They love you anyway. Shut up. Well, I mean, they yeah. did take my employee. Listen to him acting like he's yeah. going to get in. They the stole movie. his employee. I, I, yeah, they, he's he's on loan, if we will. Yeah, he'll be there kind of, tomorrow. Yeah, he'll Christian. be running the show though. So, and uh, yeah, I yeah. Hey, I got um, I got a filmmaker coming with me. A young filmmaker who makes awesome films. He's excited for it. He's a big fan. Yeah. And then uh, and then Mikey Veza, an actor producer guy. Yeah. And uh, he was in Clerks Three as well. And uh, he was uh, he was a stand-in, stand-in. He was for a stand-in Kevin for... and Brian or how yeah, long the Kevin whole Kevin and shoot. Brian, yeah. Yeah. Uh, did you say you saw Clerks 3? I have not. Had oh, you have not? Okay, TV cool. Yet. Well, uh, no, they should ra- do. They ra- should ra- show ra- your short ra- film ra- before. Grand, that would be wonderful. They should show uh, Monster oh, Anonymous, yeah. Anonymous before. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. Just like an intro before everything starts. I wonder if Kevin's even seen it. I would love for Kevin to see it. I would love to watch it with Kevin. Yeah, yeah. if you have not seen it, uh, just Monsters Google Anonymous. it. Um, I watched it. Uh, it was on YouTube. On YouTube. You yeah, they, could probably, they could pull it up because they're all, they have 100%. all computer stuff yeah, there YouTube. and put it right on. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, we won the, yeah, best best short film at the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, crazy. Crazy, man. That's awesome. I mean, Courtney Wright wants to know what the dream project you'd love to try is. Mm. Do you have one? Is that? Oh wow! Do you or did you just do one? Mm. Well, I did. Just sort of, <laughs> in a way, I sort of just did one when yeah. we opened. But for me, I like to uh, travel. So anything that just takes me around the world a lot would be amazing. You'd be yeah. like Michael Caine, like he would just pick places that would like vacation oh, that's why he did just four yeah. it was based on wherever he wanted to go yeah, wherever he wanted to where go where did they, they shoot the fun i've ever had just four i was in the yeah. islands he wanted to go on vacation in the islands so he took it <laughs> yeah i got to shoot a movie in australia yeah, that's kind of why for I four choose, months it was amazing that, that's how Bul- i choose bulgaria my, canada so i choose my comic cons so wyoming yeah. um alaska i'm going to Absolute, alaska that's i i'm it's incredibly jealous i want to go to alaska so bad let me talk to the promoter. Perhaps they so may have cool. room. There's actually Jeremy. There's actually two cons in Alaska. Okay. So there is. So that increases your chances of going someday. So, I would yeah. love it. I think traveling is probably the best. It's great, part isn't of it? Being I love traveling. Yeah. This yeah. industry. Uh, it's not fame. Fame is dumb. Uh, money can be good. It's not what it used to be. Yeah. The traveling and the friendships and bonding and the experiences that you have when you make it is what makes this industry, I think, the greatest. Yeah, you know, yeah I agree. I love travel. I, I I teach. I have summers off. I travel. I get out of yep, here. I see that. So, uh, well, I guess we'll see each other in Wyoming. I'm so excited now. Dude, I mean, I was. I am too. And I love that my my amazing woman is knows this stuff yeah. more than I do. She keeps up with. Somebody's got to keep uh, it she, straight. Somebody has to, man. Yeah. Thank somebody goodness. Somebody has to, and uh, yes. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Well, have a great time tomorrow. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, you know, I'll, 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 I'll try to get over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah get, over there. So try try to get over to there. Try to get over there. They're looking at. Uh, cool. But um, welcome. Oh, maybe if I have. Oh, maybe I might maybe be. Have anything else but to I'm do. not like. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. Line up over maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of busy. Hair. I'm kind of busy. Just right? say Christian needs help. <laughs> Just walk in. Yeah, for sure. And, yeah. Um, that's, yeah. Awesome. Well, welcome to a shared universe, my friend. You're, yes, please you come back time. anytime. I'll be here anytime. I love it. Yeah, cool. Thank you guys for Thank watching. Thank you.
Thank you. And uh, Smile Castle Cinemas, everybody. Uh, check them out. They're running stuff. Like, Are they going to do anything live tomorrow? Live on I YouTube? Don't know. I will be alive. Pro tomorrow. Probably not. I I'll be there and I will be live. Yeah, yeah. You know what? You're going to be live. I think it's going to be one of those things like if you were there, you had to be there. I'll be, yeah. I'll, I'll be alive. Yeah. And, uh, but you guys were here. So thank you guys. Have a great Bye, night. Bye, guys. Thank you all.